Hello and welcome to this powerful kids video. My name is Jane. And I'm Grace. Now today we're going to go for a jog through something really special. Where are we going, Grace? We're going to jog through the Amazon rainforest. Oh, wow. Are you going to come with us, kids, and run through the Amazon rainforest? I'm really excited about this. Are you? I sure am. Right, let's start going on a little jog. Now you can do it really lightly to begin with because we want to warm it up first of all. So just jog through, just pressing your feet into the floor. Make sure you warm those feet up. Just Move your arms nice and gently. Now, what do we know about the Amazon rainforest, Grace? Well, we know that the Amazon covers about 1.4 billion acres of rainforest. Wow, did you hear that, guys? 1.4 billion acres. In fact, the Amazon is so vast, the Amazon basin itself covers 40% of South America and it travels through eight different countries. It's so vast and there are 4,100 miles of winding rivers through the Amazon. Isn't that just amazing? Now this means that the Amazon holds so much life. In fact, the Amazon rainforest holds one in ten species of the whole of the world just in that small area. And I say small it's massive but in terms of the whole world it's actually a very small area for what it does and what does it do Gracie what does the Amazon rainforest do for us yeah and this is what is so so important because what's happening to the forest right now Grace it is, and we need to really learn about the forest so that we can understand why that's so detrimental to our whole earth. So let's carry on through the rainforest and keep moving and see what some of those wonderful animals are that we can possibly see. Oh, Grace, can you see up in the sky there? What's that? It's got really beautiful colours. What is it? I know, it's a hyacinth macaw. Oh, wow, let's fly like a hyacinth macaw. Now balance onto your right leg. Now the hyacinth macaw has these amazing tail fe feathers. So I want you to push your left leg back and squeeze your bottom and really extend it behind you. And you've got to try and balance and then soar through the air like a hyacinth macaw. Now, what do we know about the wingspan of the hyacinth macaw, Grace? Well, the hyacinth macaw has a wingspan of one meter. Wow, that's huge. In fact, the macaws are, the macaw is one of the biggest types of macaw birds there are. And they're really powerful and strong. And they're so beautiful, but they're an endangered species. Because of their beauty, they often have been used for, their feathers have been used um, illegally for all sorts of different productions. And, and, and it's really wrong that that should happen to these birds, isn't it, Grace? So we need to protect them. Now, can you really move? Think of that big wingspan. Can you really move your arms big? Feel your arms working? Okay, let's try balancing on the other leg. So extend your right leg back behind you. Balance onto your left. Lift in through your center and squeeze your bottom. That's it. And really move your arms big like a hyacinth macaw. Lovely big movements. Oh, can you feel your arms working, Grace? <laughs> now, I think we need to actually soar down onto the Amazon down into the forest. What do you reckon? Should we drop down into the forest? Now, what else do we know about the forest floor? Should we go all the way down, 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 down to the forest floor? Oh, Grace, can I feel wet? I think it's raining. It rains a lot here, doesn't it? It sure does. <laughs> and that's another important thing about the Amazon. It provides us with so much water, doesn't it, Grace? See, that's an amazing fact to know as well. Now, what do you think we are right now in this position? What could we be? I think we could be frogs. Not just any frog though, I think we could be poison dart frogs. Can you go like a poison dart frog? Now the poison dart frogs are really beautiful, aren't they Grace? Of course they are. Because their colours are just so amazing, but they are poisonous. Can you, can you jump like a frog? Hop. That's it. And again, jump. Now, while you're jumping, do you know what else the, the poison dart frogs do? They have amazing long tongues to catch the flies. Can you do a tongue like a, a poison dart frog to go really fast with your tongue? That's it. And again. And now jump. And do it again. Jump. Now, what else jumps in the Amazon rainforest but rather than on the ground through the trees? 
What do you reckon that could be? They have really long arms and a really long tail that curls and attaches to a branch. What could we be? I wonder. Wisp! Spider monkeys! Can you be a spider monkey? Now, the spider monkeys jump, they have big long arms and big long swishy tails. And I want you to jump like a spider monkey. Now, spider monkeys are so important in the rainforest because they help to distribute all the trees that grow the seeds the seedlings from the trees so that more trees grow. So the spider monkeys are really important to the whole ecosystem of the rainforest. Now, if you are with an adult, you can try this spider monkey jump. If you're not, just keep jumping like we're doing now. But if you're with an adult, you can hold onto their hand and then you're gonna be the branch of the tree. The adult's gonna be the monkey that pulls, okay? So hold your arm really still. Strong arm, Grace, that's it and then we're going to swing through the trees. I'm going to pull Grace over and jump. And then other side, really strong arm, Grace, like a branch of a tree. And then I'm going to gently pull Grace. So adults, if you're pulling, you gently pull. Woo! And to the other side. Let's do it again. Can you do that, guys? So nice, strong arm. That's it. And then pull. Woo! And then one more. Nice strong arm. Drop down like a monkey, swinging in the tree. Strong arm, Grace. And then pull. Woohoo! Oh, I love being a spider monkey. But what else that's even bigger than a spider monkey in the rainforest, Grace? Well, it's a predator. <gasps> a predator. <gasps> oh, what could we be? I think I know what we are, Grace. We're. Jaguars. jaguars! Can you be a jaguar? Now, jaguars are beautiful, beautiful cats. And they are the only cat that not only likes to go through the undergrowth, but also likes to swim. Very few cats like to swim, but the jaguar does. Can you swim like a jaguar? Now, bring your weight forward, pull your tummy muscles in, and paddle. That's it. Paddle, 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 paddle. So come forwards. Yeah, come forwards, come forwards and get your balance <laughs> before you fall over. And paddle like a jaguar. Can you go faster? Faster, 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 faster. Now let's go back down into the undergrowth and can we pounce like a jaguar? So you're going to come up onto your back haunches, lift your knees off the floor and wow. Set. Well done, Grace. Let's do it again. So back up, ready to pounce and wow. Let's do that again. You ready, guys? And knees off the floor, back up, and wow. And one more, knees off the floor, and wow. Ooh, fantastic stuff. Oh, now, as we're near the river, seeing as we've just paddled through it as a, a jaguar, what else animals are near to the water, Grace? Well, they're one of the biggest rodents in the world. It's the capybara. The capybara. Do you know about the capybaras, guys? Oh, I love capybaras. Now, capybaras have little short legs, yeah? And their feet are webbed because they like the water too. But capybaras are like these big, huge rodents, but they're ever so cute and their noses twitch like that. But capybaras jump a bit like a rabbit. So you can jump, kick your legs back. Can you do that? Kick your legs back, sit. And then they come up on their front paws, and then they kick their legs back. And you come up on your front paws, kick your legs back. <laughs> What's up, Grace? How you doing, guys, at home? Are you a capybara? Can you move around your space like a capybara? Keep moving around. <laughs> now, capybaras aren't as rare as some of the other animals in the Amazon rainforest, but like all the animals we're talking about, all of them are in danger because they're losing their habitat and that's why we need to protect them and learn as much as we can about all these wonderful animals. Now, seeing as again we're near the river, shall we get in a boat, Grace? Come on, let's see what we can see in the river. Come on then, let's get into our boat. Can you get into your boat as well, guys? All right, so we're in a canoe and we're going to start to row. You ready? So we're going to row through the Amazon River. Oh, well done, Grace. 
Brilliant. Are you rowing, guys? Can you feel your tummy muscles working as you do this? As you lean back and you row. Brilliant stuff. Now, what do we know that lives in the water, Grace? Well, I can see a thing out A pink thing? A pink thing? Oh, I wonder what that is. Oh, wow. It's the pink river dolphin. It's so beautiful. It's pink. Hello, pink river dolphin. And it's got big, long, 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 long jaws like this with actually quite sharp teeth because it needs to catch all its fish. Can you do big, 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 big arm movements to create the, the mouth and the jaws of a pink dolphin? Now, we know that there are only 2,000 pink dolphins left. Oh, in the Amazon. And that's really, really sad because if we don't do something about this soon, there won't be any more pink dolphins. And we know there are only five species of um, freshwater uh, um, dolphins, and these are one of the rarest, but they're also one of the most intelligent animals. And they have these big kind of heads here um, and those big heads are not there because their brains are really big but it's their kind of sonic wave system in how they communicate and that's what makes them so so clever they really are sophisticated animals and we don't want to lose them let's do a little bit more rowing grace and then i think what we need to do is get back onto the land can you get back onto the land as well guys and i think i don't know about you but i'm feeling quite tired now let's just do one more little jog come up up we come and then we're going to just run 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 Run, 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 and get rid of all that energy that you've got. Can you go faster? Faster still, faster still. Go, 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 what animal was in the Amazon? Go really, really slowly, Grace. Oh, we are. We're sloths. Now, sloths can be either two-clawed or three-clawed. I'm going to go for three-clawed. Can you put your three claws out? And they can attach their claws onto branches, but they also like to hang upside down. Can you hang upside down? With your feet up, that's it. <laughs> and your claws hanging over. But sloths are amazing animals because they conserve all their energy by moving very, very, very slowly. But like all the animals in the Amazon, again, their habitat is being destroyed. And if we're not careful, we won't have any sloths left. And sloths need to be protected, don't they, Grace? So, what can we do to protect all these animals, Grace? Well, we can just donate to charity that helps the rainforest. We can, yeah. So there are, there are charities like the World Wildlife Fund that really, really support and work on just not just uh, saving the animals, but also on trying to educate people. And that's the other thing you can do. Try and educate yourself. Just try and learn as much as you can about the Amazon. And I hope that this video has taught you a few things about the Amazon and that you can now go away and learn lots and lots and lots more. Thanks ever so much for following, guys. See you again soon. Bye. Goodbye.